Lucky Marne is in the central tonight. Weather Garden with all the details. The 30th of March hails the start of British summertime and as if on cue, the weather began to improve, the flowers bloomed and we all thought about slipping into a floral dress. Well, maybe not you men. Hello, we're excited, aren't we? Because we have got chocolate time. Make time for chocolate. There is always time for a bit of that. Saturday is definitely your best bet if you want to spend some time outdoors, possibly even go mad and throw a barbecue. This is the eggy bit, so I'm just going to crack some egg into the middle and then it's just like scrambled egg, so again, this is bit of protein going in there. My top tip would be to keep you out of the kitchen. <laughs> oh, that's all the thank you get. I even did your egg for you. <laughs> yes, not a very good job. <laughs> you were going everywhere. However, into the afternoon, though, heavy showers will move in, along with a dramatic clash of thunder. Look forward to seeing them, and you can see yourself on the telly box. <laughs> Becky, thank you very much. Well, I'll sum up the afternoon in two very familiar words, sunshine and showers. What is it? Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> yeah. I can't do a wolf whistle. <laughs> woo <-hoo. laughs> This morning, a welcoming start awaits us, much better than yesterday's dull and showery one. We've got a bit of a pick and mix over the next few days, so will you be hiding in your shed or out on the golf course collecting balls? Here's the weather forecast, so let's see. Might be very tempting to start putting your washing out because we've got some fresh southwesterly breezes. Well, in my crystal ball, I can predict that the weather will be very changeable in April. One day it will fizzle, the next day it will drizzle. Now, one of the highlights of the Tulip Festival is the Spalding Flower Parade. And all these people are here dedicating themselves to picking up to around 500,000 flowers. Well, it does sound posh. It's a bit like egg fried noodles, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to Cork Abbey in Derbyshire because I've heard they've got their very own theatre. But we're not talking about ordinary actors. Oh, no. The stars of the show are these plants. These are called auriculus, and this is an auricular theatre. Now, you might wonder why they've got their very own theatre. Well, not only to display them, but they're not very keen on the wet weather, neither am I. Better not tell them the forecast for the next few days. So I'd better stop stealing their thunder and let them get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, take it away. <laughs> Here's Becky Marr. So let's have a look at the outlook where the high pressure is going to start to dominate a little bit more. From Friday, we're going to see more in the way of some sunshine. Poke it all in there. Oh. See Look how easy me. this is. I'm Come sorry. On, mother. I keep doing huge <laughs> you stay portions. Here. Oh, stay here. <laughs> Come on. All well, this afternoon, some sunny spells will remain, but punctuating those will be scattered showers, some of which could be quite heavy. Now, I like to dabble with the tools, but mostly I like to sit back and relax with this lovely breakfast bar. Excuse me a moment. I'm just going to have a little brew. Pinky. Mm. Pop a bit of that in, fling mm -hmm. some over the side for good measures. Whatever you have planned, do enjoy yourselves and make the most of Saturday.